Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to determine the inverse of a cube root function. Let's take this first example right here. Find the inverse of this function f of x is equal to the cube root of x plus 2 minus 1. There are some steps in order that we can determine the inverse of any function. The first step is to replace f of x with y. So in this problem right here, I can go ahead and rewrite this as f of x will be changed to y. So that is y is equal to the cube root of x plus 2 minus 1. Now notice that minus 1 is outside of this radical. Now the second step is to replace every x with y and replace every y with x and solve for y. So in this problem that we have here, the y will become an x. So we're going to replace that with x and that is equal to the cube root of, again, the x will become a y. So I'm going to go ahead and say y plus 2 minus 1. And part of this step is to solve for y by itself. So y is mixed up with all of these. Now we want y by itself on this side. So then we can go ahead and add 1 to both sides plus 1 here. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as um, it's going to be um, x plus 1 equals, we can cross this out, that's the cube root of y plus 2. Again, our target is to have y by itself on the right side. Now, notice this one because others are going to say that that should have just been 1x because you have the x plus 1 is just 1x or others would say oh, that's no. 2x because you have 1x plus 1 is 2x. Please remember that these two are unlike terms. That means we can't add them together, but then we can go ahead and write them as separate terms. So that means that would be x plus 1. Again, our target is to isolate y by itself here. The antidote for cube root, meaning in order that we can get rid of the cube root, we are going to cube both sides. So I am going to cube this side and I'm going to cube this side. Again, our target is to have y by itself. So we're going to uh, cube this side. So if I cube one side, I cube the other side as well. So then we can go ahead and cross out the cube root and the cubed. So then we are left with x plus 1 cubed is equal to, then we already have um, canceled the cube root and the cubed. So then this is y plus 2 on the right side. So as you can see here, we can already isolate y by itself. So I'm just going to show the uh, work up here. So I'm just going to rewrite this. From here, we want to solve y by itself, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, minus 2, and that is equal to, we can cross this out, that's x plus 1 cubed minus 2 equals y. Now notice this, I did not subtract the 2 to the 1 here. So these two go together because that's inside the parentheses. So we can mess up with the plus one here with a negative two. So negative two is a separate term. And so we are left with y. So then from here, we are now ready to move on to the third step. The third step is to replace y of the equation solved in step two with f negative one of x, which is the notation for inverse. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as f negative one of x is equal to, again, I replace the y with the notation for inverse, and that is equal to x plus 1 cubed minus 2. And this is the inverse of this um, function right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, there are steps that we need to go over in order that we can determine the inverse of any function. So the first step is to replace f of x with y. So that's gonna come out y is equal to two, that's cube root of x minus five. So that's the first step. I replace f of x with y. The second step is to replace every x with y and replace every y with x and solve for y. So then we can go ahead and change this to x and that is equal to 2 square root, um, that's a cube root right here. So that's a cube root of y, because again, the x will become a y, the y will become an x, and that is a minus 5. 
we remember that part of this step is to isolate y by itself so that we can go ahead and get rid of the two here in front. Remember, that's a that's a multiplication that's involved here. An opposite of multiplication is division. So then we can go ahead and divide both sides by two. We're going to divide this by two here so that we can cross the two out. So we are left with x over two is equal to the cube root of y minus five. Again, our target is to have y by itself. So we need to clear this right side with all of these stuff here in order that we can have y by itself only. So the antidote for cube root or uh, we, in order that we can um, undo the cube root, we are going to cube both sides. So I'm gonna cube both sides here. If I cube one side, I cube the other side as well. So then we can go ahead and cross out the cube root and the cube. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this. I'm just gonna show the work up here. So this would come out. Okay, so I've gotten rid of the cube root and the cube, so we're left with this. Now again, our target for this second step is to have y by itself. So then we can go ahead and add five to both sides, plus five here. So then this would come out, so we can cross this out. That is x over two cubed plus five is equal to y. So then our third step is to replace y of the equation solved from step two with f negative one of x, which is the notation for inverse. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as f negative one of x is equal to x over two cubed plus five. And this is the inverse of this function right here. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the third example right here. This time I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we're gonna go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to replace f of x with y. So this f of x will uh, come out y is equal to seven times the cube root of x minus two. Now notice the six is outside the radical. So I'm just gonna put that outside the radical right here. So that's a plus six. Now, um, we are done with the first step. Now we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to replace every x with y and every y with x and solve for y. So in this problem that we have here, our y will become an x and that is equal to seven times the cube root of the x will become a y minus two plus six. Now our target in this step is to solve y by itself. Now there are some other stuff around it, so we need to clear this right side so that we, we are left with just y. So the first step that we're going to do here is to subtract six from both sides. So I'm gonna subtract six here and minus six, so then we can go ahead and um, cross this out we are left with x minus six is equal to seven times the cube root of y minus two. Now notice this, again, this is not a, um, because others are gonna think that's, oh, that's one x minus six should be a negative five x. Again, these oh, two are no. unlike terms, which means we cannot combine them together, but instead we have to put them as separate terms. So then I, I wrote here x minus six. Now we have seven here and we have a, a, a minus two right here. We, again, we need to clear this side. We need to have just y by itself here. So then from here, we can go ahead and divide seven from both sides, divide seven so we can cross the seven out. So we are left with, um, that's gonna be x minus six over seven is equal to, then we, we already crossed out the seven, so we're left with the cube root of y minus two. Again, our target for this step is to have y by itself. So we need to clear the right side and then we should come up with just y in there. In order to undo the cube root, we are going to cube both sides. So I'm gonna cube this and I'm gonna cube this as well. So then from here, we can cross the cube root and the cubed. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this. I'm just gonna show the work up here. So this would come out. Okay, so we are left with this. Now we are going to add both sides so that we can have y by itself. So I'm gonna add two from both sides, 
plus two here. So then we are left, we can cross the uh, two out. So we are left with x minus six over seven, that's cubed plus two equals y. Now we're ready to move on to the last step, and which is the third step. Replace y of the equation solved in step two with f negative one of x, which is the notation for inverse. I'm just gonna go ahead and write f negative one of x is equal to, that's gonna be um, x minus six divided by seven cubed plus two. And this is the inverse of this function right here. Did you get the same answer as this? Yay! Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.